Hi, I'm a machine learning engineer at Intel's Applied ML Group. Our talk is about the ongoing collaboration between Intel and Leica. For over 25 years, Intel has touched nearly every major Hollywood film, and Leica has continuously been looking for ways to push the boundaries of what's possible in stop motion animation. To these ends, we've leveraged machine learning and computer vision techniques that accelerate and automate essential visual effects tasks. Rotoscoping is a technique used to obtain shapes from video that can be extracted for use in compositing in the post-processing pipeline. These shape segments must be spatially and temporally smooth in order for compositing artifacts to be believable to the human eye. And they must be parametric so that an artist can continually modify them until a composite meets the desired shape. While creating rotoscoping assets is essential, it involves significant manual supervision, and these assets are usually discarded. In this paper, we show how learning from roto data yields significant time savings. So Fernando will review the technical details. And the goal here is to learn and accurately predict multiple shapes, open and closed, in relation to the image, while ensuring spatial smoothness and temporal coherence. We adopt the parametric Bezier representation for the shapes with points and tangents, which ensure spatial smoothness and preserve sub-pixel accuracy under transformation. The raw assets from a compositor's workspace consists of contours with arbitrary points and tangents that are not semantically consistent and hence not trainable. Given several instances of a similar task, our first step is to identify the interactions among shapes and harvest a set of semantically consistent landmark points. We then revectorize the original contours based on these landmark points to obtain a new consistent representation. The resulting set of points and tangents are considered to be the relevant features for this task and together with the image constitute the ground truth data which is now ready for training. The next step is to make sure the predicted shapes are temporally coherent. We break the image to shape computation into two steps. The first model predicts the landmark points given an image, and the second group of models predict the multitude of shapes, each conditioned on a subset of landmark points. During deployment on a video sequence, first the landmark points are separately predicted for all the frames. Then the landmark points are fused with cross-frame predictions based on optical flow vectors. Next, the landmark points are fused with cross-frame prediction based on optical flow vectors thus reducing jitter and ensuring temporal coherence. Lastly, the shapes are predicted from fused landmark points separately for all the frames. Here are a couple of examples showing how digitering improves the coherence of predicted landmarks. In this formal description, we introduce the notations. I is the image, S raw are the raw assets, S denotes the revectorized shapes, which are the features of this task, and P is the semantically consistent subset of points in S, which are our landmarks. Rather than learning the end-to-end -end model expectation of S given I, we instead learn two models, expectation P given I and expectation of S given P. This allows the artist to perfect the landmarks using a combination of automatic digiter and interactive touch-ups before producing the final shapes. Our landmark model is an extension of the ResNet50 architecture. To increase the effectiveness of our minimal dataset, we augment the ground truth images by randomizing brightness, blurring, warping, flipping, and adding backgrounds and occlusions. The rotoscoping process is largely manual today and requires a significant amount of time from the artists. In this paper, we focus on rotoscoping on eyes, eyebrows, nose bridge scenes, and temple scenes. However, the methods we present here have also been tested on other facial features, such as the mouth and sideburns. Our deep learning model is integrated into the artist's existing workflow. With our tool, it can take an artist six minutes to rotoscope 100 frames, where it used to take 30 minutes. During production testing, 26% of the results were usable with no adjustment. Another 47% were usable with minor adjustments. This represents a significant time savings for the studio, as artists are able to rotoscope over 70% of their shots with no manual rotoscoping. And now, Intel and Leica are harnessing the power of machine learning and computer vision to develop tools that reduce the time taken in existing roto workflows by over 50%. On behalf of Intel and Leica, thank you, and we can't wait to see what you do with the rotoscoping data.